let's talk about the best manifesting tip that there is. Totally the most effective manifesting tip that there is. Stick around to check that out. Hi, I'm Linda Armstrong. I'm an energy healer and a spiritual awakening coach. Um, I like to help people to love their life, to release subconscious programming, all that stuff that gets in the way that keeps us from just loving life and truly being the creative manifestors that we are. Okay, so what about this manifesting tip? Now, I mean, I, I, I don't know why, but this is coming in very strong for me in this past week or so. And I thought, well, how do I, I'm not gonna make a video on this. I mean, I haven't even looked to see if people have made videos on this, they probably have. But I, I, I'd have to say, the best tip ever is for you to own that you are God. Yep, I said that. You are God. I am God. We are God. Everything is God. <laughs> Some people would really be offended, I think, by me having just said that. But truly, God is the creator, right? The creator of all things, the all that is. Everything is born out of that energy, or at least I choose to believe that. Um, I'm not religious. I think it's the religious people that won't like this video, but I know God. I feel God. I mean, I've, 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 after so many years of pretty much, I don't want to say rejecting God, but just not understanding God because I couldn't understand the, the awful things in the world, the evil things. Um, I guess I finally matured and came to my own understanding of, of that and how there is purpose to all things. As hard as that is in some cases for so many experiences in life, but really everything that exists has been created. So, and thoughts do become, there's my cat poking in. <laughs> She's cute. Uh, everything, is, everything is created born out of thought, right? If we didn't think it and have a connection vibrationally to the thoughts or putting out an energy about whatever that thought is, nothing would be here. You know, everything that is created that exists was once a thought by someone. Now, the idea of claiming our God godliness is to open us up to manifesting ought to be easy right? If we are a part of God and God is the ultimate creator and created everything that is, then we can create, well, actually we already do. I mean, we already do that. We create everything that is in our life. We do it. Nobody else does it. The good stuff and the bad stuff, it all is born out of something within you, right? And that's a hard one to take. Some people don't really get the outer reflecting the inner. Um, but if something exists out there, even the things that you don't like that, that really trigger you, well, there's something within you that is a vibrational match to that. So you're carrying some energetic programming within you that allows that to appear in your existence. So that's why the more and more we clear all this stuff, the more we help the whole entire planet. So every person I coach, every time I get coached and I get help to clear things, whether I do it for myself or whether I go to someone outside of me, because it's not always easy to see your own stuff. It's what us coaches and healers are here for, to help you see your own stuff. Um, without clearing, but every time that any one of us works on ourselves, we're actually working on the collective. So as we clear those programs and patterns that have created something that we don't want in our life, that we're not enjoying living, every time we work on clearing that, we help other people to clear it as well. Because we are all connected, we are all one, we are all that creator energy. So 
Oh, sorry, I hit the camera. Um, I'm trying to find a simple way to say this, but what, what, let's just do this. Let's just own that we are really, truly a part of God, the, the, the master creator. So if the master creator is there and we're a part of that, we're made out of that, we're made in that image, then we are also master creators. It's only beliefs, thoughts, patterns, programs that dictate somewhere in that subconscious mind that we are not that, right? And hey, that can come back. That's like probably centuries and centuries old a way of controlling people or having control over people by taking their power away so they don't know how magnificent they are, so they don't, so that they don't understand that they truly can create what they want and then you have to give your power away, right? So we've given, that's the problem. We've given so much of our power away and now it's time to reclaim it. And one way I'm, I'm saying, I'm just inviting you to consider holding this energy of, yeah, I am God. I'm a part of God. I'm a part of God. I am God. Oh, then I'm a master creator. Let's just start programming that within us. I know how to create. I know how to see what I want, feel enthusiasm for it, know that it's coming. So what if we could pretend we knew for sure? See how I said the word pretend? Because it's hard to say, I am God. And, you know, because we're told that we're not, right? All of our life. You know, who do you think you are? God? Yes, I'm God. Um, anyway, if we truly believe that and we have this new idea, oh, I'm going to move to Arizona. I'm going to open up a healing resort, right? Instead of all the programming that tells me how I can't do that and it'll never happen in this lifetime. <laughs> what if I just was so excited that it's happening because I decided it's happening because I'm a creator and this is my desire. So of course my desire will come to me because I'm a magnificent manifester. I am a part of God. I am the likeliness of God. I have the abilities of God because we are all connected. We're all part of in one and you know I don't even know if I'm going to publish this video but maybe all my clumsiness of these words might <laughs> keep your attention long enough if you didn't already click off to consider okay what if it wasn't so crazy I am God I'm a magnificent creator creation is what I do it's what I do it's it's my sole purpose is to create so what do I want to create and if you know that everything you can create can be, if you think, oh, okay, resort in Arizona, healing center, yeah, got it. Then, then I can, what's stopping me from just being so excited about it and so excited to see how it unfolds and so excited that these ideas keep coming in because I'm in such a high vibrational energy that it's got to come. All right, so work with that. Play with that. Play with being the creator, because you are a creator. I mean, it's so simple that it's almost funny that I'm having a hard time getting that thought across. <laughs> and again, that's probably because of all that program. How dare you call yourself God? Uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna call myself God, and I'm gonna decide that I can create, that solutions come to me easily for these creations that I have going on in my mind, you know? I know exactly how to put this together. Oh, look, I need something. Oh, look, here it comes. Oh, it came in a FedEx truck today. <laughs> I don't know, just have fun with it. So if this video spoke to you, please let me know in the comments below and I would love you to share and like and subscribe. I will see you again on another video. Bye.